Now, um, this is quite interesting. It's uh, Rumble. Now, for those who don't know, Rumble is, is a, a platform uh, which uh, it's a bit like YouTube, basically, but it's a different type of platform. It's fair to say, isn't it, that Rumble, uh, a lot of people who've been uh, moved on, let's say, from YouTube will end up uh, uh, on Rumble. It's a far-right channel, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, well, <laughs> they don't see themselves as that, but they, they, they basically allow people to say what they want to say. They've put in their statement that sometimes they don't agree with what people put on their website, but they, uh, their number one priority is freedom of speech. Now, why are we talking about Rumble? Because because the chair of the Media Select Committee sent a uh, letter to them to say, should you be allowing Russell Brand, who's on their, on their channel with about 1.4 million followers, to monetize his videos? Now, that comes off the back because uh, YouTube have stopped Russell Brand from monetizing these videos, and they asked Rumble to do the same. Rumble have hit back saying, we're not in the business of um, cancelling people, and we wouldn't think twice of doing that. What would you make of that? Well, I, I actually don't agree at all with the chair of sele the select committee writing to Rumble over that. I, I don't think it's any of Parliament's business who is monetising what, specifically as he's not actually been found guilty of any crime at this time. I mean, do I find him distasteful? Yes. Do I want to see him on television? No, I don't. But to write to a company and ask him to demonetize them, I, I just think is extraordinary and really beyond the powers or realms of where she should be. Javier? Well, Ava and I are on the same page here. Look, it's, you know, it's obviously... The stories that have been coming out are disturbing. We're not, you know, no one can read all this stuff and feel comfortable about what Russell Brand seems to be about. But at, yet there should be due process and he, mm. there's still freedom of speech. So, yeah, he, he should be allowed to do what he's doing until there is some sort of process and a legal view on these issues and then we understand where we all are. OK, uh, let's move on to another trending topic. Car, World Car Free Day. Colvier... Uh, you had to do a lot with transport in London. We were talking in the break about, you know, trying to get more people to cycle in London when you were um, in City Hall with Boris Johnson. Um, you see, I really like this World Car Free Day. We've got uh, bus travel in uh, West Berkshire is free today, encouraging people to get off. Yeah. Germany, I know I keep banging on yeah. about Germany, but they still have that 49 euro train ticket, which for 49 euros, you can use all trains apart from the high speed trains. For a whole month, you can get on and off as many journeys as you like. Where are those big ideas, Colby? How are we going to get I, people I, I, out I, of their cars and onto I, bikes or public transport? I see how this appeals to the metropolitan elite, Alexis. You know, Is that me? Yeah. Oh, because, fine. Okay, because fine. look, you live in a big city with plenty of public transport with access to these things. Good point. And yes. a lot of the, a lot of the oh, world so does it. you agree the Conservatives have not built adequate public transport? No, no, that's not. We've invested an amazing amount. I think, I think you walked into that one. The bus rail, <laughs> high-speed two, bus inv in investment. But you're just saying that, you know, outside cycling. the cities, people can't travel around. What you're talking about transport. is a countryside where there are people living in all parts of... And this is the world, right? So if you travel around countries, yeah. there are vast populations living in little hamlets, little villages, where they might have a reduced, you know, bus service. And, and they may need to pop to one? a... Who reduced yeah. that? No, but they may want to go travel. I think the individual has a choice whether they want to travel. And sometimes it's not all about public transport if you're not living in a high-density environment mm -hmm. like a city. So, yes, you know, we're all for less car usage, especially in metropolitan areas. But having been a transport advisor for this city, even within the city, I knew we used to ha we needed to have a delicacy of policy which affects zone one, zone two, and the outer zones. As soon as you try to have these blanket headline policies, I'm sorry, but they don't tend to work for everybody. Well, uh, and we should clarify that this, some of these blanket headline policies, uh, the city of Hanover, are looking to remove nearly all uh, street side parking and introduce a 12 mile an hour speed limit in a bid to banish cars. Uh, out of the city centre, we should say. I think they're planning to uh, introduce park and ride yeah. facilities where you just park outside and you either take public transport or walk or cycle into the centre of the city. Wonderful that's... for that city of about 500,000 people. Yes, yeah, it's, just, it's yeah, not it's a big city. It's a, it's yeah. a, and, and if you can do that in small cities, that's a really good thing and you know, help provide people in a more sustainable way of travel. In the city of London and mega cities, a lot more okay. challenging. Uh, Ava, take that, a trending. Big, what, what have they done? Big news today for the girls. <laughs> big day. Not just for the girls. For the, for the girls. I'm a big Take That fan. <laughs> I apologise. Yeah. was telling us, you've been to see them live. Yes. Yeah, they have great shows. I'm mm -hmm. really excited. Well, OK, so here. next year there's going to be a huge stadium tour. They're apparently going to be joined by Oli Mers. There's going to be no... Um, my God, I've forgotten his name. Robbie, Robbie Williams. Williams. Oh, I, I was going to say, is it still Take That without Robbie? 
It's been take that without Robbie. Yeah, it's been, time, but without it? Robbie, there's always rumours that he might come back. They keep you on the edge that he might. No, but do Gary guess... Barlow is now like a star in his own right, isn't and, he? And no, so... Jason Orange as well. I'm reliably informed. Really. And all the, all the mums, they really fancy a bit of Gary, don't they? So I think they'd be quite happy to just go and see him, especially with Ollie Murs. He's been made very popular by the, uh, the competition show The Voice, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. All the mums love him from uh, that. Would you go and see them? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there is something about their shows, though. No right? ambiguity gonna, whatsoever. Their, show, their shows have an amazing creative style to them and they really put a lot of effort into it. all artists now? You, they gonna, have you... gone above and beyond. They're, they're, okay. they're, they're kind of theatre that they put on. They have a general theme about it. It's not just a pop okay. concert. If All right. That's what they're still um, called nowadays.